Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd, and today we will cover the trades made by um, ticker symbol QQQY, which is a defiance ETF fund. Um, again, these are not daily videos. These are as frequent as I can post them. So I'm not sure where my last video left off, but I believe anything in gray was already covered. And I have a new addition to the spreadsheet, which I'll get into in a second. Um, so yesterday we had what? We had the, f uh, the strike price of 16,050. Um, our break even was 16,106. However, the index closed at 15,933. So you know what that means. We had a loss. Hate to say I told you so, but in the other video I mentioned, you know, we're due. And here we go. We are due. Uh, obviously, you can't time the market, but, you know, it happens. Not every day is green. It's okay, guys. And before I forget, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. Please do your own research. Seriously. Okay. So what was our loss? So we got a $56 credit when we opened, when we sold that put that expired on November 21st. However, we had to pay $116.38 to close it. So if you look, you know, what that calculates to, you look at the, uh, so we have, we made $565,600 and then we had to pay 1 million, you know, 1.1 million. In the end, it, it was a loss, a net loss of 609000 which puts, you know, you know, a running total kind of went back down. Yes, now we're at 6.9 million because of that. But, you know, that's okay. It happens. So what did we do with the with the contracts though? Guess what? We we did we uh sold a new put into the next day. That expires today, November 22nd. But we have more contracts to play with, which means more shares outstanding, you know, came to play with us. So we made $99.50 on that. Uh, our strike price is 15980 And if you look, uh, the current price of the NASDAQ is 15933 Okay? And that's, you know, pretty much what they closed at. So that's 0.29% in the money. Okay? 0.29% in the money. Now, on to the next, the new addition to the spreadsheet. Uh, Jay had an interview, maybe a couple of interviews. I believe he mentioned intrinsic and extrinsic values, right? Which, believe me, I don't even like saying those words because I'd like to keep it simple. I like to keep my review, what I do, simple. I hate using the Greeks. I never use the Greeks, as you can see. I don't like, you know, using certain terms because it's pointless. I like to speak like English. And when I say intrinsic and extrinsic, it's just, to me, it's not English. It's just like, it's people trying to throw options, you know, complicated terminology out there, which it, it just sounds, you know, ridiculous to me. But anyway, I'm going to go with it because I don't know another term that would make sense to use. So when you sell a put that's in the money, the portion that's in the money is your intrinsic value. In the money, intrinsic value, okay? Think of it that way. Just thought of that now, actually. So if you if you could see, I have an intrinsic value price, and this is gonna be locked in. So I'm taking the, um, where is it? G23, which is the, uh, of course it's hidden. I believe that's the strike minus J22 which is the prior close, okay? So if you take, where is it? 15,980 minus 15,933. Again, current strike. Um, let, me, let me scroll so I can get this, okay. Current strike minus the uh, last index close. That's the difference. That's your intrinsic value because that's the differential in price if you're in the money, how much into the money are you? That's your intrinsic value. So we're in the money, $46.38. But we got a credit 
if you look the open price column E, we got 99.5, you know, per share. But only 4638 of that is intrinsic value. Again, because of the price differential be between the strike and the as at price of, you know, of the underlying. So the difference between the options premium you made, you know, you take that minus the intrinsic value, that'll give you the extrinsic value. And extrinsic value is pretty much what you're getting paid for your time, right? Because anything can happen from now until expiration. So, you know, due to the implied volatility and the time, you're making money for the risk. And that money in this example is 5312. So the extrinsic value is actually more than the intrinsic value. And by the way, again, I am no expert here. So if you guys find a fault in these calculations, I'm all ears. Leave it in the comments. I won't be offended. Uh, again, I'm plugging in these numbers through the chaos of my house <laughs> at night. And I, I'm, I'm bound to make a mistake. I, I know that that can happen. And I, 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 think I'm, I think I'm good. But if I'm not, please let me know. Uh, no hard feelings here. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for corrections. So why do we care about intrinsic and extrinsic value? Well, we don't normally, but Jay keeps talking about it in his interviews. And I believe he mentioned he would like to pay us out the extrinsic value, at least pay us out the extrinsic value. So guess what I have to do? Unfortunately, I have to now track this because Everyone's now asking, what is the extrinsic value, right? What is it? What is it? Because it's not as simple as what did we make in premium? Now I have to calculate what did we make in intrinsic value? What did we make in extrinsic value? And these values, of course, they, they change throughout the day. So eventually the extrinsic value goes to zero, right? When these, when these close and everything is uh, intrinsic. But again, I'm, I don't, I hate saying these words. It's not me. Anyway, extrinsic income. So I'm adding now a field for how much money we are making on a daily basis in extrinsic income. Why? Because if Jay's telling us we're getting paid the extrinsic value, the extrinsic income, then we want to calculate that. So let's look at without extrinsic. So our distrib our income so far is 7.993. So 7,993,000. Our extrinsic income to the right, I added, is 6,442,000, okay? So currently our distribution payout based on intrinsic and extrinsic is 89 cents per share. If we're just going to get paid the extrinsic, we're at 72 cents per share. And we're also not even, you know, we still have like eight days left. I'm not sure how many trading days, but we still have, you know, quite a few days left. So even if we get paid the extrinsic, I know we all want that dollar, but it's still not that bad. So again, hopefully that made sense. I'm, I'm, uh, this is locked. These fields are locking in the intrinsic and extrinsic value and they're not going to change. Again, because I want to capture the extrinsic value at the time and leave it there. And then we'll calculate how much we're making throughout the month in extrinsic value. Um, I'm, I'm over, I'm kind of like over just saying these, these terms at this point. So I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys, I was pretty excited about adding these uh, minus, you know, saying those words. But uh it is what it is. It's uh, it's a new field. We're going to have to monitor it. It's a simple formula. Once I did the if formula, uh, it's pretty easy now. It's just automatic. But again, I could I could have made a mistake, uh, just so you guys know. I'm not perfect, obviously. All right. I didn't cover cash yet. Cash went up. Treasuries went up. Net change overall, 11 million. What? 11 million. But as mentioned before, the outstanding shares uh, did increase. As you can see, we got eight more contracts to play with. So that's probably the majority of the increase in cash and treasuries. Okay. Uh, reminder, the next X dividend date on this one, QQQY and, and the others, JEPI and IWMY, is 12 
So get ready for that. You may want to own it before then, or you may want to buy it on X date to get the discount. I don't know what I'm doing. I've been buying here and there, but I may buy more on X date. I'm having fun with these funds. Honestly, these are a lot easier to track, if you ask me. Uh, our daily average premium, this is using intrinsic and extrinsic. I know I wasn't going to say it again, but I had to. Uh, six cents, our daily average yield is 0.35%, which beats their expectation of 0.25%. Total wins, 12 for the month. Total losses, four for the month. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the new fields. I hope you enjoyed me saying those terms over and over and over. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, if you like the QQQY videos, please click like. If the likes ever, you know, beat the Tesla video likes, then this may have higher priority on the daily, you know, on the daily video list. Uh, if not, so so far, Tesla is the most popular. Um, I own both, so it really doesn't matter. This one's actually easier for me to do. But um, anyway, if you have any questions or if you saw a mistake on my calculations, leave it in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Or you can join the Discord and, and uh, tell me there. It doesn't matter. I don't care. You can call me out in the comments. It's all good. Um, as long as I can correct it and get accurate data. Um, uh, by the way, I didn't cover today's break even. We need to at least hit 16,080 in the NASDAQ. Will we do that? Who knows? Time will tell. As always, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Um, I covered that already. But um, yeah, that's it. Have a great day, everyone. Later.